हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल क्रिएट टेक्स्ट एडिटर यूजिंग प्लेन टेक्स्ट विजिट इन क्यूटी फ्रेमवर्क बाय यूजिंग सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो आई हैव टू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एंड आई विल प्रेस न्यू बटन एंड देन आई विल सिलेक्ट क्यूटी विजिट एप्लीकेशन एंड आफ्टर इट आई विल प्रेस दिस चूज बटन एंड नेक्स्ट आई हैव टू एंटर ए नेम फॉर आवर प्रोजेक्ट एंड आई विल चूज editor but you can choose any name instead of editor and so i am typing here editor and then i will press next and i will press next again you can choose any other option but i can work with q make and here this is class information uh, class name base class and source file and others and next uh, you can add here a file for for translation in other language and now i will press next again and so i am pressing here next you can uh, translate any language and now this is our kit list you have to choose a kit from this list and i will choose desktop qt I min mean gwo 64 bit now you can choose any kit and then press next and now i will press finish button now this is our project and we are inside our project here you can see this is our main function and we are inside our main function okay and these are some header files and files that included and this is our main.cpp file and next i have to uh, create user interface so i will select here main window dot ui uh, this is user interface and i have to add plain text edit in this user interface but uh, first i will uh, select here type here file you can use any uh, like editor and other but i am uh, typing here file and then i will uh, press here uh, sorry i will type here in type here place new okay and uh, i will explain later that why i am adding this new file okay you can use new or you new file word and after it i will press enter key and next here you can see uh, below action new file i will uh, press right button from our mouse and go to slot option i will press next uh, enter and uh, we have some signals i have to work with triggered okay i am choosing triggered and after it i will press okay button and after pressing okay button we are in main window dot cpp file uh, this is our function that is added by our project and next uh, here i have to set position of our tool uh, sorry text edit widget so i will uh, set here i will use uh, set word and uh, here i will choose set central widget okay uh, i will select it and in parenthesis i will use ui user interface and then i will point uh, point to our text edit or sorry plain text edit i will uh, type here plain text edit uh, that will be used as a text editor in our user interface window and then i will use semicolon uh, here you can see we have a error no member name and uh, this is because we have not included uh, this plain text edit in our user interface window so i will go back and now here i will uh, drop uh, plain text edit and so i am filtering it and now i will drop it in our user interface window and i will increase its size now i am going back this is our xml file and i have to work with main window.cpp file so i am in main window.cpp file and here you can see that our error is removed and now i will run it by pressing run button and after building it it will be display uh, so i am waiting for building and after building application this is our output uh, so you can see this is our text editor and i am typing here some words and i can press enter to go next line and here i am typing some text again this is our 
text editor. Now I want to uh, select an other text editor by pressing new file button. Okay, uh, so what is process? Uh, I will close this user interface window by pressing cross button. Now I have to open a new text editor. So I will create a new form. So here I will click on form right button and next I will press add new. Okay. And now I will select QT and here I have some options, but I have to select QT designer form class. Okay. I will select it. And after it, I will press this choose button. And now you can add any button. You can work also without any button and I will work without buttons. So I will select uh, dialogue without button and then I will press next button. So I press next button and here uh, you can use any name, um, but I can use my dialogue or I can also use this dialogue. So I will select this dialog and then I will press next button. So you have not to change any other uh, file. Uh, it will be changed automatically. So I have to uh, add this form inside editor.pro. So I will uh, keep it as it is. So I will press finish button. And now I can you can see that here is a new user interface window. Now I have to uh, use an other plain text edit widget inside this user interface window and I will increase its size and now I will go back to our code. So I will press edit and then you can see here our code is added in XML file also, but I have to work in main cpp main window dot cpp file and this is our function. Uh, so I will work inside this function and now I have to import a file and our file will be imported with sharp include and after what is name of our file uh, that is this dialog dot h. Okay, this is our file that is importing in this uh, main window.cpp file. Okay, and next I will work again inside our function. Uh, here I will create object for this dialog and you can use any name for this object. And I will use DLG. In short, I will read it dialog and then semicolon. Okay, uh, so this is our object and we will use it to uh, call any function. So I will use it to access functions from this QT framework and I will use here DLG dot. If you choose any other name instead of DLG, then you will use that name. And so I will here use DLG dot set uh, model. This is model and uh, it is Boolean type. So I will type uh, here true. So I will keep it true and this is model that will appear by pressing new file button. Okay, uh, here I will use semicolon and next I have to execute uh, this code uh, or function. So I will use here DLG dot execute. Okay, this is built in function and after it I will use semicolon. Uh, so our uh, code is completed in this project and so I will build it again. So I have pressed a run button and now I will wait for some time and after it you can see here this is our text editor where I can type um, my words uh, those I want to type inside it and now I want to open a new text editor and then I pressed new file and this is our new text editor that is in fact a model okay this was video about creating a text editor in qt using c plus plus i hope it was very easy to understand for you if you liked this video please share with your friends and subscribe our channel